It was a discovery that shocked the World War II history community in 1985. Three virtually intact German U-boats were discovered, not at the bottom of the ocean, but sitting upright inside a massive bunker in the German port city of Hamburg. The three U-boats were all Type 21s, known as Electro-boats. They represented the most advanced submarine design of World War II but the technology came too late to save Germany from defeat. The Type 21 was a true submarine, unlike other types of U-boat that could only remain submerged for short periods. The design used lots of batteries to increase underwater speed, and the boats could recharge and refresh the air inside using a snorkel. They could dive down to up to 400 meters. The Germans managed to construct 118 of these boats between 1943 and 45 in Hamburg, Bremen and Danzig. The Germans' problem was not the design or the innovative prefabrication of sections to speed construction, but severe quality problems. The extensive use of largely unskilled slave labour, as well as many other technical problems, caused these quality control issues that took months to rectify and delayed the entry of the boats into the war. Of the 118 boats built, only four were ready for combat by April 1945, and only two of those boats actually completed war patrols before the end of the war. If the Germans had managed to get them into service earlier, they could very well have devastated the Allies at sea. Elbe II U-boat pen was completed in Hamburg in December 1941. Its massive walls and roof were designed to withstand the largest Allied bombs. Towards the end of the war, the bunker was used to fit out new U-boats, the 200 workers being well protected from the near-constant Allied air raids on the city. The last U-boats housed inside Elbe II were three of the brand new Type 21s. They were U-2505, U-3004 and U-3506. These boats were due to leave on a hunting sortie to the Caribbean. But U-2505 had been damaged in an air raid, while U-3004 had also suffered a problem during a test dive. These boats were going nowhere. By now British forces were rapidly approaching Hamburg. The U-boat crews had been sent to the front lines as infantry. In Hamburg, a plan was hatched to scuttle the remaining U-boats. The Battle of Hamburg came to an end, with the British taking the city. The fate of the three U-boats was now in the hands of the new occupiers. On the 11th of November 1945, the British Army's Royal Engineers blew up Elba II. The bunker's mid-wall and roof crashed down and shattered U-3506. Attempts were made to salvage the three trap U-boats in the late 1940s and early 50s. This work was, however, soon abandoned as too difficult and costly. Then, for year after year and decade after decade, the three U-boats sat in their half-collapsed tomb, submerging with each tide before reappearing like ghosts as the water receded. But then, in 1985, a U-boat historian and two colleagues rediscovered the vessels and managed to explore inside the ruined bunker. What they discovered was truly extraordinary. The two intact U-boats have had their conning towers removed by salvers. Overall, however, two of the three boats were in remarkably good condition. Unfortunately, in 1995, the local government decided that the bunker was too dangerous and filled it in with hundreds of tons of gravel, burying the three U-boats. Since then, the site has been largely demolished. Today, the three Type 21s lie entombed forever beneath a car park. However, one Type 21 U-boat still exists. U-2540 is perfectly preserved and open to the public at Bremerhaven. I've been there myself and it's well worth a visit. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, perhaps you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Just click on the picture of me in the bottom right hand corner of your screen.
Many thanks. Wenn du auf mich bist, dann ende